Onshore oil and gas, it might be an industry you're not altogether too familiar with. When we think of onshore production, the first thing that springs to mind is wind, solar or geothermal energy. But the United Kingdom has been utilising the oil and gas around a mile under our feet for over 150 years, after oil was first discovered in Scotland in 1851. Since then, around 2,000 2, wells have been drilled across the United Kingdom, producing the oil and gas we need not electricity generation, heat and transport, but for use in the essential products we utilise every day, from vital medical equipment to cosmetics to our mobile phones and toothpaste. And as time has moved on, so has the technology we use to extract oil and gas from the ground. Hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, is one of these techniques. Fracking has been used for many decades in the UK, both offshore and onshore, in the production of oil and gas. It involves creating small fractures in the rock deep underground that allow the oil and gas trap there to escape. This is done by sending water, sand and several chemicals down the well to widen the perforations created by a small perforating device into fractures. The water creates these fractures, the sand helps keep them open, and the chemicals provide a wide range of uses, such as stopping the sand from sinking in the water. This technique has proved a huge boon to the US shale gas industry, resulting in them surpassing Russia, a country nearly 1.8 times their size, as the biggest producers of oil and gas globally. In a nutshell, hydraulic fracturing in the UK will provide jobs a new source of tax revenue and improve our energy security. Third Energy, based in East Napton, North Yorkshire, are preparing to do just that later this year. So on a particularly rainy British summer day, we took a trip to visit Third at their generating station, which at its peak can use locally sourced gas to produce the electricity for 42,000 North Yorkshire homes and has been doing so since May 1995. The Napton Generating Station, or KGS, is supplied by gas from Third's four producing gas wells beneath the Vale of Pickering, and is the largest generating station in the UK to use onshore produced gas. To date, the station has processed over 30 billion cubic feet of gas, generating 2 million megawatt hours of electricity. To put this into context, that means the third has, since 1995, produced enough electricity to power the average 22-year usage of over 27,500 homes. Outside the control room sits an LM6000 gas turbine, the industrial version of the engine used to power many popular Boeing and Airbus passenger aircraft. But the potential for onshore gas in North Yorkshire means that Third are expanding their reach to a site around a mile southwest of Kirby Misperton, known as KMA. Once we'd finished looking around the generating station, Sean took us to the KMA well site, home of KM8, the well due to be fracked in the next few months, to tell us a little bit more about the process. Third Energy. I'm the Operations Support Manager. I look after the operations in North Yorkshire at the power station, the infrastructure such as the pipelines, and also the gas production from the well sites. While the site sits in fields off the main road through the area, we wanted to know what Third Energy had done to minimise disruption to the local community. I'm quite lucky because of the amount of time we've been in place here. We have a lot of infrastructure, so a lot of our processes, we can control them remotely from Napton, so the sites themselves are unmanned. We've got fibre optics which control them through our DCS systems. So in uh, respect to the logistics, we're only looking at a vehicle or two a day from our maintenance and operations technicians coming to site. Mm -hmm. In terms of deliveries and things, it's fairly infrequent. So we have very little impact on the community. And as you can see from the site, it's fully screened by trees. The sound from the site is minimal. So mm -hmm. we really do everything we can do to have a lesser impact as we can. Sean took us on a tour of the site, the most established of its type, to check out the equipment that will soon be helping Third Energy power even more homes in North Yorkshire. The site itself is roughly the size of two football pitches, with the KM8 well seated on the upper level. 
Sean explained how gas had been produced on the site since 1995, but the first well, KM1, was actually drilled in 1984. On the lower platform of the site sits a series of vessels, including a separator vessel, which dries the gas when it reaches the surface. This prepares it for later combustion at the generating station, which then feeds the resulting electricity into the grid. Sean had described how all of the gas from each of Third's wells across the area comes to the KMA well site, being treated using the kit here on the ground. One of the most noticeable things about the KMA well site, and every site we have been to, is just how underwhelming they are. Producing little to no noise, and with most structures below the height of a two-storey house, they aren't really something to write home about. But this is the idea, to keep Britain moving while minimising any disruption to the communities that host production. The wells themselves are of a diameter only slightly bigger than your average mobile phone screen. We visited KMA in summer, but now the site is being prepared for hydraulic fracturing. It's changing shape. A temporary noise barrier has been erected, together with further temporary provisions which will stay in place for several months until the fracking process is completed. A workover rig, which ensures the well is ready for its casings and operation, has spent a few weeks at the site. Once the multiple layers of well casings, which protect any groundwater underneath the surface, are cemented in place, the next step is to bring the frac spread on, which will conduct the hydraulic fracturing process. While the site might look busy now, if flow testing is positive, in several months it will appear largely as it did when we visited, a quiet energy powerhouse concealed by the beautiful Yorkshire countryside. Third Energy is one of several operators across England preparing to hydraulically fracture. If initial flow testing, which determines the production potential of the well, goes their way, we could soon begin reducing our oil and gas import dependency. And the evidence is there. Homegrown British shale gas production could bring huge benefits to both our economy and the environment. 64,000 jobs, a new source of tax revenue and financial benefits to the local community could see us build a new British industry while reducing our carbon emissions. We have a choice. Do it here or import it from elsewhere. <laughs>